Today I got to see an osprey. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a hawk or an eagle, but it's not. It's an osprey. I've been on and off reading this biography about Felix Mendelssohn. So Mendelssohn uh, is probably one of my favorite musicians of all time. He's written some of my favorite pieces of all time. You would know him from the wedding march, the... Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto in E Minor, which is probably my favorite violin piece of all time. Uh, he also has one called The New Hebrides or Fingal's Cave Overture, which is just one of the most awesome pieces of me. I just, the guy just, I mean, he puts chills in the back of my neck every time I hear his stuff. I really like this quote that his teacher said, so I'll set it up for you and read it. He was performing at one of these like musical party kind of things. He was still a kid and they were putting through him through all these tests in front of all these people. It's just, it's just kind of like he was like their entertainment for the evening or whatever. They had him do an improvisation. Basically it would be like a guitar solo in, in a modern, like in a rock song, right? Like you get to the, you get after the second time the chorus comes out and then, you know, break into the guitar solo. So Mendelssohn was doing that. Uh, ad libbing a solo off of an already complicated solo melodic line. We're talking like next level. So Zelter, his teacher, he didn't just give like praise all the time. What hobgoblins and dragons have you been dreaming about to drive you along in that helter skelter fashion? That's uh, Jorah Mormont. I think I think Zelter talked like Jorah Mormont. So it's a day off today. Uh, I am just dragging. I found some footage on my phone from, oh man, I don't know when it was. I think I want to say it was like in August or, geez, I don't know when it was. We were visiting my sister-in-law, uh, Melissa's family up in Montgomery. I'd gone up to Birmingham to visit my friend Josh, who was in town. And we went to this Asian market and I discovered some fun food items that, uh, you know, my obsession with that Thai pond and custard roll. So I tried some different stuff and shared it with the family. Enjoy some flashback. Uh, oh, I did write a song today. Yeah, more than a third, almost a half of this song. I, I like it pretty good. I like it pretty good. I'll, I'll share it. I'm just a little self-conscious about the singing thing. I'm trying to find my voice, so to speak. I'm literally trying to find my voice, not so to speak. Yeah, I like, I like the lyrics. I like the mood. Um, it's called Stay Glorious, uh, hearkening back to Eric Newcomb's <laughs> admonition, or his character's uh, encouragement in the film No Matter What, which was the very first vlog in the series. Melissa thought, hey, that'd be a good song to do. Um, so I kind of got a little inspiration this morning, I wrote some of that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tired. And a little apprehensive to try to Knock it down. This is building a better me, you know, one step at a time. Enjoy this little flashback bit, and I will see you tomorrow. So, I'm in an Asian market in Birmingham, Alabama. Look what I found. Thai bean cake. And supposedly, it's supposed to have all these in it, including pond and custard fills. <laughs> That's like my number one thing, favorite thing in Thailand. I may experiment and get a couple of things. They have a couple of these, um, similar to the stuff I would get when I was in Thailand. But I guess like the uh, apple bread. Cool. Maybe I should like do like a taste test comparison. Like the Chinese bun and then the Thai bun. All right, I'm gonna try it. So I found this today at the uh, Asian supermarket. So I'm gonna give it a try. This is the Chinese version of the kind of rolls that I liked in Thailand. I don't know what Hokkaido cream is, so I'm gonna give it a try. Palm oil and rape seed oil? Mm -hmm. What is, is it, is that my... You're right, I think you're right, it's rape seed. All right, let's give it a go. Well, so far it's just a bun. Filling is on one side, maybe. I like big buns and I cannot lie. <laughs> is it sweet or It is kind of sweet, you know, try a bite. I want to get some So far it just tastes like, kind of like a Hawaiian roll, yeah. honestly. That's a, that's a winner then, because Hawaiian rolls are awesome. I think it's basically like a Hawaiian roll. Oh, Although it almost tastes like sponge cake. It has mm -hmm. the texture of it's rice flour. It's great. Okay. Yeah. It's an Asian butter. Brown rice yeast. Yeah, Brown rice that. yeast. Ooh. Yeast, sorry. It tastes like wine rolls. Uh, it's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you get? Popping candy. And he apparently looks like Ziggs from Lee. He does look exactly like Ziggs yeah. from Lee. How do you open this thing? I don't know. And then there's this. I want to try this. This looks very interesting. Where? 
Hey, Rupert, I got you something. I got you something. Come over here. Look at this. Look at this. This, this is for you and Dee Dee to share. <laughs> what do you think? Does it look cute? Yeah, I have no idea. This is Japanese, uh, and I don't know anything else about it. You have to mold them. Oh, you, you make them, them. You make your mold. Oh my gosh, you mold so them cool. into a little. Okay, okay we're not gonna eat it yet. We got to uh, mold, mold them into. Make them. You okay, make your own so, candy creations. Okay, now if I That's was a kid, that would be cool. That would be very cool. Oh, okay. the bunny one. I would make it into. You want the bunny one? Yeah. Five grams of fat, eh? All right, here we go, mochi. Sesame seed covering. Yeah, wow, well, this is really gelatinous. Yeah. I think the whole thing is flat. Yeah. Okay. All right, first bite. Mm, that is sesame -y, for sure. Is it sweet or savory? It's not overpoweringly sweet. Wow. Um, it's definitely. Asian y. I don't know. Like, it just feels like. I don't know about this mochi stuff. I don't know what to think of it. Oh, no, I do like it. Yeah. Does it taste like peanut butter? No, it's just this weird. It tastes like nothing I know. I like it. It's cool. It's not overpowering, it's not too sweet. It's very distinctive taste. Oh yeah, that's legit. No, it's squishy. It does kind of smell like Think peanut of butter. Taffy. Anybody want to try some? Oh, it smells all. Oh. Aye. Does it smell? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm I need a new texture. No. Texture is very interesting. Texture is different. Because it does you eat it kind of taste it's gelatinous. Peanut butter, but it's yeah, very it's gelatinous. True. It's kind of bouncy. I like these. I like the, this one. Yeah. Those taste nasty. I like this one. Yeah. What do you think, Rachel? Yeah. Oh. That's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. I feel like I'm eating an eraser. <laughs> what are these? If that's the, mo if that's the mochi. Yeah, that's The it. mochi does taste better than the... It does. It does. Gelatinous. It has a roasted, sesame. like roasted peanut butter. But it's very mild and not very overpowering. Flavorful this of is any the best sort. So far. Yeah, it's good. It cool. is. You want to try some? Thank All right. This is awesome. Let's get a new the piece. Outside is like All right. You want to hold these? Grayson, like... like... do you want to no, try no, any? No, I want to try these. some. Okay. Is this I'll like a what? Is this like a Japanese rice krispie yeah, treat? Yeah, it's still like, hot. Well, it is. It's rice based in a way. Be careful now. Just one bite. Just take one bite. Ruha, that's too much. That's not very. I like that. That's good. It's for you what? That was so weird though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all it's right. But I you kind of have to accept it to, for what it is to yeah. enjoy it. It's an acquired taste. I, I accepted it as what an eraser. Think? My pondon custard. That tastes like pure, like, protein. <laughs> <laughs> I don't taste the pound in it all. Oh. Delicious bean curd? Uh, uh, no, I guess this is like flavored bean <laughs> leavings. Um, no, I'm not a fan of that. Well, do I have to get the apple bun to... Pin pineapple pa apple pin. There's this apple filling in it. This needed the uh, the bun from last night. Yeah, yeah. The bread it just it just kind of tastes like a bun, whereas the other one tastes like a wine roll. You know, so it's just having a bun with apple sauce in it or something. Well, I definitely like the mochi stuff. I at least like this.
So I give that a thumbs up. Uh, motor car monitor for the uh, yeah. I can't even try the rest of them. Like I said, that's like so. Um, you know, it, I guess it does make kind of sense. These are bean protein, bean protein, and they're supposed to be chilled the whole time they were in the car for a couple hours. And it's meh. And the other one I thought was a Chinese bun. It's actually another Japanese bun. Uh, it was nice and sweet. That was good. I love that mo those mochi balls from Japan. I think they're awesome. I can just I can taste them right now. Uh, not a fan. There was one of these. It was an apple biscuit or apple bun. Oh no, that was not good. The Thai rolls. They tasted like they'd been in transit quite a while. It's just not the same. I do miss those. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. Until tomorrow, stay creative, stay cross-cultural, stay constructive, and stay strong, YouTubers. Thank you very much.